Hey guys, how you doing? Now I've been asked a few times recently about how to set up something like an expression pedal or any kind of MIDI controller to work with your favorite amps and effects plugins on the computer. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. So all of the awesome wah-wah effects and of course whammies, rotary, speeds, delays, anything that you can change, you can set up really easily to work with an expression pedal. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to go about it. This is just a very simple generic uh, expression pedal made by Nectar and that worked fantastically and instantly. And I'm also gonna show you how to set up something a bit bigger. I'm gonna show you the iRig Stomp. Anything that has MIDI in and out, you're gonna be able to use. First thing you're gonna need and probably the most important part of the whole equation is an audio interface that can take MIDI in and out. A lot of the smaller ones won't have that. As a matter of fact, even some of the bigger interfaces like my UAD Apollo doesn't have MIDI in and out. If you don't have a decent interface already, I gotta say, check out the Axe.io. Not only because it is designed for guitar players, it's one of the only interfaces that actually has a built-in expression pedal input. You're able to just plug a pedal straight into it and you're gonna have this work like immediately with any of these plugins. Now obviously you're gonna to need to know your software program reasonably well to do this, but it's quite simple and it's gonna be very similar through most programs. So I'm using Cubase. Now the first thing you're gonna to need to do is set up both an audio track and a MIDI track. So here's my audio track and you're gonna use your plugin on that audio track. I've put Amplitube into the first insert and then I've got a MIDI track here. So on the MIDI track, we're gonna say you wanna use this input to go to the output, which is going to be Amplitude 4. So as soon as I open up a MIDI track, my Axe I.O. input for the MIDI was already set up. And then for the output, Amplitude 4 is already there. So that's the basic setup of it. Now, one of the fantastic things in most of these plugins is something called MIDI Learn. As soon as you say, listen, and you move whatever MIDI controller you want to assign, it automatically says, got it and that's it, it assigns it to whatever parameter that you want to use. So for example, here's my wire pedal, right click on there and I go assign MIDI, learn wire. Now watch what happens, done. You could also assign it to do multiple things if you wanted to get crazy. So let's say the rate of a univibe, I would definitely be into doing that. Learn the rate, bam, now it's changing that. Do you know I'm in the middle of trying to do something here? Could you just, just so they can see the, do you go sit over here somewhere? Come on now. Sorry about that, folks. Now, another bonus of doing this is that you can record the actual controls that you do. So for example, if you do a wah track and you come up with a really cool wah part, you're recording the actual MIDI information and then you can get there and change that as well if you want. So I've done this already. So you can see on this MIDI track here that looks a little bit funky with this interesting shape. If I open that up, that's actually the wah pedal in expression. So excellent. So you can record that and save the actual performance. If I turn the Univibe on, you're gonna get that rate changing. It's gonna be kind of crazy, but You'll hear that as well. <laughs> the only thing that I had to do with the stomp, I rig stomping out, is because it's also an interface and it does a whole bunch of other stuff, I just had to find out how to put it into just a MIDI controller mode, which was really simple. Hold down the first foot switch, put the power in. So now it's just working as a MIDI controller. So now I can do exactly the same process as far as the MIDI learn goes. So click on the wah, uh, learn wah. As soon as I move the wah pedal over here or the expression pedal, we are in. So the advantage of having something a little bit bigger in terms of a MIDI controller like this guy is that you can turn switches on and off as well. Assign MIDI learn bypass. All I have to do is hit the switch and it has assigned that switch. So it's that simple and it's gonna work with any MIDI controller that you have. As I said, you just need to know your program. You might have to, you know, 
look up a couple of things, but it is that simple. Let me also just quickly show you how this would work if you wanted to do a similar thing with bias effects too. Okay, so all I've done here is I've inserted bias effects two in an insert instead of amplitude four, and I go to the MIDI track and I just need to change that over so that it's going to bias effects. And luckily bias effects also has the MIDI learn capacity. So all I have to do is, for example, on the whammy pedal, if I right click, we have assignment, click on that, and you can choose which one of the parameters you wanna be able to adjust. All I did was hit learn, reach over and hit the switch. It says received it. Now I can turn that on and off. And also the same thing with the pedal. If I wanted to actually use the controller for the whammy pedal, do assignment. So learn, just move the pedal, received. That's it, I now have this working on the whammy pedal and you can go through and assign pretty much every and any parameter to any switches or MIDI controllers you have. So I hope that's helped you out with how to set up an expression pedal or MIDI controller with your favorite amp plugins. Thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys again real soon.